We're going to lift up our voices and we're going to praise the Lord. Come on now. All right, in this video, you're going to see some flying machines. So you currently live on a floating planet contaminated with sin, with flying machines and all this craziness. Please find Jesus while you can. Good night and God bless. Keep being awesome. You're going to see some plastic tubers. Tuber time. You're never too far away from a Jew, son. about what you can't do and what you can do and in life whatever menu you get you've got to count your cans i can do all things to christ who strengthens me god bless every can counts just so you know when you see a rainbow it's got nothing to do with homosexuality um homosexuals um people that want to live um sleeping with their own kind um actually when you see a rainbow it has nothing to do with homosexuality or pride what's happened here is this world distorts the word of truth when you read your bible you'll see that when you see a rainbow that um, actually it's god father god reminding himself not to uh, flood the entire world again and that his heart is grieved by what we're doing with the life and the gift he's given us just like when you have children you say don't do this uh, you know don't go in the kitchen don't play with the knife don't do this it's going to cause damage whatever and when your children disobey you you get angry and you'll say right you're going in time out well i believe god has that uh, right don't you so the rainbow um although uh, homosexuals will try and take that and make it about this it's not if you read your bible when you see a rainbow it's god's heart is grieved um that he wants to flood the world again but he promised himself he wouldn't because you're all just breaking the rules and just doing and distorting every good thing that he's given you so when you see that please just maybe take a time to a bit of repentance or pray and say father god i'm so sorry please help me to change and grow um into becoming more like your son jesus christ our lord and savior It's true.
So this is why we don't take life for granted because in an instant you can be here today gone tomorrow you can be riding your bike the next how old are you mate? so if you can see that so the guy's literally just riding his bike just cycle by boom Don't take life for granted. Jesus, we can them back. So this road has just been closed off. This guy has literally just been riding his bike, car coming along, and boom! It was like two atoms colliding, a car, bicycle right in front, and now this guy has been like wiped out, and now we've got the ambulance, the police service, everyone turning up. This guy's like, I mean, he's hardly speaking. It's not a nice scenario. It's covered in blankets. I'm not gonna go into the gory details, blood coming out everywhere. It's pretty gruesome. You can't take life for granted. You just never know when you're gonna go. Okay. All right. So now we got we got helicopter, helicopters coming in. All right. Let's go. It's all happening. Absolute bonkers town. Alright, so here we are. Now we've got a helicopter. Helicopter's coming.
Now we have helicopter. All right, so I just uh, decided to stop the film just out of respect for the situation. Um, obviously, you don't want to show too much detail, but there's a guy who's in uh, need, so any prayers for him. I've prayed, I've mentioned Jesus, I've helped, tried to comfort them. Um, that's as much as I can do. The emergency services have turned up, and now we've got like helicopters, five one, two, three, four, five police cars, two ambulances. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, don't take life for granted. Know Jesus as soon as you can. ASAP, always say a prayer. ASAP, as soon as possible. ASAP, ASAP. All right, God bless. Love you. Good night. Bye. Here we go. We got a lift off. We got ambulances, police cars, helicopters. It's all been happening right here, right now, in the town. But still, there's that. So we're gonna have take off now. And wherever you take off in life, we will have our departures and our arrivals. But the one thing you must remember is to take your passport. We all come with baggage in life, don't we? The one thing you need to take with you to the airport is not your toothbrush, it's your passport. And Jesus gives you a new identity. We're dead. We have to die to sell. <laughs> to live is Christ.
Hello. It's okay. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hello. So here we have a horse. Look at this magnificent creature that God has made. You want to say hi? 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 Hello? 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 Things are good, because I'm not your pup. Are you not your pup? Are you not your pup? It's absolutely massive. But sometimes you just go think, wow. Num num num. Num num num. Is that tasty? Is that tasty? Are you not your pup? Hey. Can you get high? Well, I'm going to go first. I'm sure it'll be massive. Whee! Oh, there we go. So, it's having none of it. It's probably not in a good mood. <laughs> Alright, I want you to know that you are currently situated on a floating planet that's infested with sin and you've got an allowance of time and you're not staying here I want you to know that Jesus didn't just die he rose again in accordance with the scriptures and his word will not return void I want you to know that he made not just the dogs and the horses and the butterflies but you'd also live in a place where there's slugs and there's bugs and there's the decay and disease and there's cancer and suffering and there's people that are greedy there are people that take the riches well as a Christian we store our riches up in heaven we store our riches up in heaven that's right because we live by the word of the Lord yet his blessings come his provisions come and they come not in the riches of this world, but they come with His grace, His mercy, His truth, His abundance of glory. I want you to know that He is alive. He saved my life nine years ago in China. Mohammed didn't die for your sins. He's just a human. He used to sleep with children. Wrong. Buddha didn't die for your sins. Wrong. Krishna didn't die for your sins. Wrong. You live on a planet where there is an overflow, an influx of information coming in from every different direction, from this way, from that way. You must, as a Christian, hold on to the truth. And who is the truth? What is the truth? Jesus speaks to Pontius Pilate and he says, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the door. I am the gate. I am the Lord. I am the good shepherd. God says to Moses, I am that I am. Do not be deceived. And it's a Unitarian false religion that everybody's okay. Because Jesus says there's one way. One way. And he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no way to heaven which is clean. You are not clean. I am not clean. If any one of you claims to be clean, then you're a liar. And the Bible says that whoever claims to have no sin is calling God a liar. Because the word of God says that we've all sinned, we've all fallen short. Now we live in a place where the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. They breed amongst themselves. They're not stupid. They know who has property and who has money. And they know who are poor and that. And they lead them out there on the road, on the street. But do not fear. If you're suffering, if you're going through a hard time, Jesus says, be of good cheer. He says, they have already received their rewards. They've had their comfort. Did you not hear about the story about the rich man and Lazarus? Even the dogs came to lick his wounds. Jesus holds the keys to life and death. Jesus is the way he has all authority in heaven, on earth, and anywhere in existence. He created existence. 
So we're going to go and we're going to read some scripture, but I'm going to uh, show you a few clips and uh, we've got to try and be the salt and the light in this place. Now, not every rich person is a bad person. Some people use their riches to support the gospel, to help distribute Bibles. Some people will buy an airplane so they can distribute Bibles and help transport people from poor places to uh, others so they can provide provision and safety and care and medical supplies. Some other preachers, they buy themselves big mansions and airports and uh, jet airplanes and, get, and they, they use it as if, as if they're more important than anybody else. But Jesus says, he who humbles himself will be raised up. So, Romans, they did not disappear. They didn't just conquer. Jesus has conquered the world and sin and death. Now the Romans, they conquered this place, they built the roads, they built the vegetables, they didn't just dissipate. Is that even a word, dissipate? It sounds something like that. But they didn't just disappear. They have a lot of the roads, they have a lot of the buildings, they have a lot of the property. Now some Romans, remember the scripture where Jesus says, that truly I say to you, no greater faith have I found in Israel. When this Roman came and said, Lord, I'm not even worthy to have you come near my house. Just say the word, just say the word and he will be healed. So not all Romans are bad. Not all Jews are bad. Not all Gentiles are bad. There is a definitive distinction between those who accept Jesus and those who reject Jesus. Jesus is a Jew. Matthew, Mark, Luke, Paul, John, the 5,000 that were fed, the Gentiles, they're also, there are people, whatever area you come from, it's about accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. We're going to get into some scripture and we're going to, hopefully this video will bless you Jesus is alive. So whatever you're going through, come on guys, we've got to use our gifts and talents. Maybe you have finances, maybe you have wisdom, maybe you have whatever. But when you go to church, you can go to church and now you can buy yourself a cup of coffee. You can uh, have a nice greeting or a meeting. But I don't believe that Christianity is about a cappuccino. I believe that Christianity, being Christ-like follower, a disciple, is about when when you're challenged with a trial or a test is that when Jesus came knocking on a, a door that someone says here I've got some space for you I know that I'm going to work by faith but now when you go to church it can be very monitored it can be very structured it can be very business orientated you can go to church and they can open it up for a yoga class but you can turn up and say hey I'm a Christian I need some uh, assistance and they'll be like yeah we have to look after one another on this, during this duration as we travel across these lands. Let them have their earthly treasures. We store up our treasures and our riches in heaven. And Jesus is alive. The Quran, the Muslims, it's a false religion. They worship a moon god. They don't believe Jesus died and rose again. They don't get baptized. And they don't follow Jesus, they follow someone called Muhammad. Enough with the schmushy stuff, they don't accept Jesus. Jesus says, whoever rejects the Son, rejects the Father, and they are the Antichrist. Do not miss out on the greatest invitation given to a human being who's been forged together in the image of God. But there's a very important message when you read your Bible and see what Jesus has to say. Wide is the road, narrow is the path, many are called, few are chosen. This is serious stuff. Don't miss out. He gave his life so that you might live. Die to self and live for him. So, if you're out there and struggling, Jesus says you're going to have trouble in this world. And if you get in trouble, and this is the, Jesus says the world hated me and it will hate you too. So if you're feeling hated, left out, and rejected, Fix your eyes on Christ. I have a caboodle of stuff that I can talk about what I've had to go through, but I will not, and I refuse to let this world take away the most precious beauty that is in Christ Jesus. He is alive. He saved my life nine years ago in China. Uh, so if that encourages you, 
I hope it does and God bless you and uh, enjoy the video. So we've got about five police cars, uh, a group of uh, a group meeting. So if you can zoom in there. So helicopters got on it, got another police unit, another police banner. So as it's all coming to uh, a close, it's been a terrible accident, so let's pray for that person. Um, I was speaking Jesus over them, I was like, Jesus, 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 and uh, I hoped I could have filmed it all, but out of respect, um, just didn't want to really. Just so, just to show a little bit of the environment uh, and some of the situations that are going on um, before you go to bed and have a good night's sleep. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a mission field. Just stay strong. Jesus is alive. He says, in this world, you're going to have trouble, but be a good cheer because I've overcome the world. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a responsibility to man up to our Christian duties, whether it's with finances, encouragement, um, wisdom. Uh, we all have different gifts, and we are meant to put them all in the pot together. Um, so we all get different gifts. So, uh, yeah, keep being awesome. Love you lots. Good night. Beach. I got me some judo. That's right, some judo. So here we go with some judo. But you got to avoid the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Here we go with some judo. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, staying alive. All right, so I'm not quite the Stephen Furter, I don't know, I tried hollering. It says in the word, uh, lift up your voice, um, you know, to praise the Lord, we have to sometimes lift up our voice to be heard. So I kind of get that with um, with brother, pastor Stephen, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a bit like the Fonz, E. Uh, or you got like uh, maybe uh, Brother John Jorgensen, or a bit more like uh, Sheldon Cooper, um, or Thunder Rock, wow. or you got maybe um, Ray Comfort, who's possibly a bit more uh, like uh, Miyagi, you know, very wise, funny, uh, caring, but also can be serious. So here we have, um, I've got my, uh, my judo. Uh, T-shirt on. Uh, I used to do a bit of judo myself. Got some moves. And um, now I'm thinking. Obviously, now Jesus is a Jew, and he says he's the bread of life. Bread of life. Obviously, got some dough there. Obviously, to make the bread. 
I was confused as a Jew. We've got some judo. Cool. But sometimes we have to be serious because what he did for us is incredibly important. It's too important for us to ignore. You're currently a human being located on a floating planet with an earth infested with sin with an allowance of time. Um, there is a, a rapture coming. Uh, there is a, This isn't all just here for no reason. Uh, Jesus is the most important person you could ever possibly listen to. So we're going to go into, um, as we said, break down the word a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to grab my Bible. Okay, so we're going to go to a short passage, uh, which is in, uh, I'm going to break down the word, which is going to chapter 2, John. Now, it says here, from John, the elder of the church, to that dear woman, uh, Syria, one of God's very own, and to her children whom I love so much, as does everyone else in the church. Since the truth is in our hearts forever, God the Father and Jesus Christ his Son will bless us with great mercy and much peace with truth and love. How happy I am to find some of your children here and to see that they are living as they should, following the truth, obeying God's command. Obviously God's command is to love God with all your heart, mind and soul and to love others. And now I want to urgently remind you Dear friends, uh, of the old rule God gave us right from the beginning, that Christians should love one another. If we love God, we will do whatever he tells us to, and he has told us from the very first to love each other. Watch out for the false leaders, and there are many of them around, who don't believe that Jesus Christ came to earth as a human, being with a body like ours. Such people are against the truth and against Christ. Muslims, <coughs> beware, that emphasis was mine, not in the Bible, because I'm not adding anything there. Beware of being like them and losing the prize that you and I have been working so hard to get. See to it that you win your full reward from the Lord. Hallelujah. For if you wander beyond the teaching of Christ, you will leave God behind. While if you are loyal to Christ's teachings, you will have God too. Then you will have both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to teach you and he doesn't believe what Christ taught, don't even invite him into your home. Don't encourage him in any way. If you do, you will be a partner with him in wickedness. Well, I would like to say much more, but I don't want to say it in this letter, for I hope to come to see you soon. And then we can talk over these things together and have a joyous time. Woo! Greetings from the children of your sister, another choice child of God. Yours sincerely, John. So, we're just going to break it down here. Quick consolidation. Um, so, there are many different religions and teachings out there. Uh, Catholicism, they're going to uh, basically, they all pray to Mary because there's this very famous scene where uh, they didn't have enough wine for this celebration, this wedding feast, and it would have brought shame to the, the, the party, uh, you know, humiliation, um, and her mother's kind of like, yo, Jesus, uh, can, you, can you help out, please? And Jesus is just kind of like, it's not my time yet. And then, because Mary comes in and says, you know, you know, servants, do whatever he says to you. It's a kind of like beautiful little way of interacting with Jesus. And Jesus is like, okay, fine. Because you've asked and you want it, I'm going to do it for you. Now, that's why they include Mary in the intercessory prayer, as in just in case Jesus, you think Jesus won't hear you, go to Mary and she'll put in a good word and then Jesus might do it. That's what you have in Catholicism and that's why they try to include Mary in the uh, worshipping rituals um, when coming to worship Jesus. You also have um, um, a lot of other uh, religious activities. Uh, you've got the Muslims who worship a moon god. They don't accept that Jesus uh, died and rose again. They don't get baptised. Uh, you've got Buddhism, other false religions. There's only one way, Jesus. Now here's a very interesting thing, is that 
Jesus, do you know that Father God, he interacts with us. He allows himself his created existence that allows us to interact with him. So some people will be like, well, if God knows everything, why doesn't he do this? Well, actually, hold on a second there. Hold your horses. Whee! If you read scripture, you will see that God interacts. Um, sometimes when people respond to Jesus and how they respond to Jesus, actually, Jesus will interact with us. And so, uh, Father God, God is with us, Emmanuel. He's the God in the flesh. And he's Lord of all. So, because, for example, because of what how Mary responded, Jesus was like, okay, I'll do that for you. Uh, there's that woman who uh, Jesus was said uh, was like a you know you're like a like a dog, uh, basically. But because she gave a good answer and said even the dogs get the breadcrumbs from the table, he's like because you gave a good answer. Okay, I'm going to give you a blessing. When I think it was Abraham, it's either Moses or Abraham. I think it was Abraham. Blessed be his name. When he was like um, God said, I'm going to wipe out this nation. And Abraham goes back and says, well, what if there's 50 more? What if there's 40 more? What if there's, th what if there's 10 more left, please? And he's like, okay, if there's 10 more left, then I, 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 will, uh, I will withhold my wrath and I will do that because you have asked. All right, guys, so there's getting the cut off a little bit there, limited storage, limited uh, technology, but we're going to use what we've got. And maybe there's a message there that whatever... God's given you, you might not feel like it's enough, but you can always plant a seed, even if you don't see where you can plant it or how you can use it, you just try and do what you can and trust God and hopefully you can get the message out there and it can grow some fruit and grow something uh, that's beyond your reckoning. Um, so, yeah. Going to try and squish this video together. Um, hopefully, uh, just pray it works out all right. And um, yeah, the Lord Jesus is alive. Um, avoid false religions. There's only one Lord, one Savior. That's the God of Israel, the God of Abraham. Abraham, blessed be his name, Isaac and Jacob. Um, and that there is a new covenant uh, that Jesus, by the blood that he shed on that cross for you and for me and for all those who call upon his name, there is salvation. And in Galatians, it says there will no longer be Jew nor Gentile, nor slave nor free. There will be all one in Christ Jesus. And in the rapture, uh, we're going to get taken up into heaven and to live with our Heavenly Father. This world will be done away with because we have to go through this period of time of getting through the, this kingdom, which Jesus came into like a thief in the night. And he came in to set the captive free from the dominion of this planet where everyone's each after them themselves, my property, this, that. People can be so cruel just to like, they'll, they'll even keep you at a distance just to make sure they can keep their possessions and their uh, things. But there's a, a new kingdom coming and we store up our riches in heaven. Um, and Jesus says that he's going there to prepare a place for us. And he's coming back and he's going to collect us all. Like a, like a hen gathers her chicks and is going to take us all back home and we can live without sin, without death, without fear and we can live with our Heavenly Father, worshipping Him, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. So until then, soldier on Christians, we have to just, um, whatever the world throws at you, you can go to church, they might reject, if you've been rejected by church, I'm sorry about that. Um, I've also experienced uh, stuff like that, but you have to remember you're entering into somebody else's domain. This is like, this is my ministry, this is how I want to run things. This is, and if you can turn up with a uh, thing, they can easily um, push you out and you can end up in some horrible scenarios and situations because of that, um, which is not really following the scripture of when we're meant to love one another. However, we turn the cheek, um, we soldier on and we still declare the Lord, uh, glory of the Lord. Um, so we must uh, ensure that we stay strong together, united in Christ. Um, Christianity isn't about a cappuccino. Um, it's not about having yoga classes or renting out your building so you can get finances. It's more about when you're challenged or tested, when you're meant to use the gifts that God's given you 
such as grace, mercy, truth, forgiveness, love, uh, trying to help someone, uh, whether it be with finance, an encouraging word, uh, whether it's with uh, participating in a project, uh, whether it's trying to utilize your gifts and talents together, a bit like Transformers, you know, like ka-ching, ka-ching, um, when you come together, you're a bit stronger. Unfortunately, in Christian Christianity, there's a lot of division, um, but you get that everywhere you go. But we are called to be united, and when we do unite, and when we do come together, and we use our gifts and talents, and we work by faith, um, and I think some, some important things happen, because without faith, it's impossible to please God. So I hope this uh, video has blessed you. Um, there's probably a little bit more I'd like to do, but I have a limited storage capacity at the moment. So I'm praying for a computer, and then we're going to hopefully get things started, a new YouTube channel, working on a book, loads of stuff going on. But until then, uh, don't give up. Uh, I think, is it Paul who says that, no, that you're not the only one that's going through hard times and um, that we're all going through sufferings, but we, yeah, I reckon that the sufferings of this world cannot be, and I know they cannot be compared to the glory that is to come in Christ Jesus. So with that said, being said, don't forget, Jesus is a Jew. He's the bread of life. And he's the only one worth listening to. And uh, sometimes we have to try and, yeah. I think that's it, really. So until then, God bless you. Uh, I know it's been a while with the video, and uh, I hope you're all doing okay. And I pray that God can give you inspiration, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, grace, forgiveness, and um, the ability to, to hear him and to, to keep on continuing to go forth and make disciples, not just to preach the gospel at people, but to be the gospel to people. Um, it comes with, you know, faith without works is dead. We've got to go hand in hand. So, God bless you all. Love you lots. And speak to you later. Bonus footage. Did you know that Mary was not impregnated by human means? So she had an immaculate conception. Jesus, who was with God in the beginning, God says, let us make man in our own image. That means Jesus is like, God is saying that Jesus is on my level. He's saying, in our own image. Think about it. If you don't believe me, you can check it out in Scripture. So, he then, through the Holy Spirit, who's also referred to as He, the Holy Spirit, uh, through the Holy Spirit, uh, became, uh, obviously, impregnated Mary. She had a, an immaculate conception. Now, Jesus says, when he speaks to people, the kingdom of heaven is here. Now, he's literally saying, I am the kingdom of heaven. Wow. So, Mary, was she carrying the kingdom of heaven in her womb? But then we can go further on to say, well, hang on a second. So, Jesus emptied himself of his divine being and became a human. And then you have to think about when he came to John the Baptist... It was then that the Holy Spirit descended from heaven and came upon Jesus. And then Father God said, today you have become my son. There's a little bit of food for thought. God bless, and I'll speak to you later. Thank <laughs> you.
Upload guys, this is right to YouTube pick upload. There is nothing quite like a tuba. Let's make a maneuver. Boom. There it is.